set it up? I mean, you were thinking that the whole way? Uh, I was. I, I wanted to get matched up with him. Uh, you know, and, uh, I was fortunate enough to, to get matched up one-on-one. -on -one. Um, you know, my left foot isn't my strong foot, but I feel like I took it well. But uh, I'm just very happy with the result we got. Um, it was a crazy, hectic game for everybody. Um, I keep telling everybody it was kind of like a track meet, back and forth and back and forth. But uh, our guys stayed concentrated. Um, you know, we may, maybe didn't have all the possession in the world, but we were able to come out and get a result. Um, we're very happy with the result, but we're not satisfied yet. We got another big, big uh, game coming up next Saturday, and we're going to enjoy this this feeling, but definitely get prepared for the next game. When you hit it with your luck, did you have any sense, any idea that it was going to go through? I, I had a good feeling that it was going. <laughs> yeah. Was that the biggest goal you scored as a professional? Uh, yeah, I would say it is actually. Yeah. How about that step over? <laughs> Great play for the space for yourself there. Yeah, I mean, all, you know, all players always want to try to do the best they can in the game. And uh, you know, if I get matched up, I'm going to try to do certain things. And uh, fortunate enough to, you know, get through that game, and uh, everybody was. Was on point. You knew Roy Miller was suspended for this series, and you knew you would probably get matched up with a young fullback in Oyanga. What was it about that matchup that you liked? And you kind of scouted and get a sense of beating um, There wasn't too much scouting that went on. I just knew it was going to be someone who hadn't been playing uh, too much. And, uh, you know, Farrell and myself just wanted to try to exploit that, uh, that area. And uh, I feel like we did it well, but uh, there's still obviously things uh, communicationally that we, we need to work on as well. Is that something you've been working on? What did you see on the break when you had the game winner? Oh, I saw Lee got on the ball and I wanted to get wide, um, pull their defenders apart. And, uh, you know, he slipped me the ball, looked up. Uh, Robles came out really tight. I saw Jermaine slip it to him and, you know, it went crazy. Yellow cards early first half and then it continued. I'm afraid somebody's going to get paused. Not really. Uh, you know, it's the playoffs and everybody's emotions are high, everybody's competitive. Um, I was a bit surprised that there were so many yellow cards, but, uh, you know, that's the nature of it. Guys are competitive. They want to go out there to win, and, uh, you know, it's not, not malicious in any way, but uh, it happens. We obviously set out to try to contain Lee, and obviously pay attention to Jermaine. Do you think that kind of opens up space for you guys, like the other guys, you and Charlie, the other guys? Are yeah, I feel whenever there's a player that's being, you know, double team maybe or uh, being focused on more, it definitely is going to free up uh, someone out there. So for me, if that happens to be Lee or Jermaine or Charlie or whoever it is, um, hopefully I can get open and, and try to exploit that. What does it mean to go back to uh, Foxborough with that with the lead? Uh, it's, it's huge for us. Um, to be able to score two goals on the road, it's, it's very crucial. Um, but we know that New York's an unbelievable team, and they have a lot of great players, and they can make things happen uh, at a drop of a hat. So we have to be prepared for that.